Saturday showed us why Phil Mickelson has won at Pebble Beach four times in his career, and he leads the field following round three of the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am. A bogey-free 66 put Mickelson in the lead by two at 16 under, and he sealed the deal on his way in, picking up three consecutive birdies during his final five holes, making things look easy. But Justin Timberlake did one up Phil at one point. Putt you hold on the ninth hole? Yes. That was sweet. Yes. Phil Mickelson's our tournament leader, just had the same putt, and he left it three feet short. You made it. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Oh. Center cut. But that wasn't even his best highlight of the day. And a five, six, seven, eight, Carlton. What a treat for fans and viewers alike to be able to see Justin Timberlake and Alfonso Ribeiro perform one of the best dances of the 90s. And the celebs were really letting loose on Saturday because, after all, it is the weekend. Bill Murray tried to get the fans to lift Dottie Pepper in the air in a classic case of tournament gallery crowd surfing. And Mark Wahlberg and Larry Fitzgerald tried to keep straight faces while being bubble bombed. Let's not forget, these guys can really play, too. Marky Mark was rolling in the putts. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's a birdie net eagle. Where is he? There he is right there. As was Aaron Rodgers. So you think all he can do is throw 60 yard Hail Marys off his back foot. No, he can also putt. And he even gave a young Packers fan an incredible souvenir. Coach Bob Stoops almost aced the 17th. Right at the flag. Oh. Almost hold it with a six iron, Bob Stoops. And Timberlake set himself up for birdie on the seventh. Not bad, uh -uh, not at all. Beautiful, and he spun it. But even with all those nifty shots, Mark Wahlberg wants everyone in the crowd to remember they still aren't pros, people. I never mind trying to hit a shot. You know, if I lose a golf ball, I lose a golf ball, and I know I got a good partner. It's just I don't want to injure somebody else. I don't want to hit an innocent spectator. And they have a tendency to just want to stand there and watch you. Someone who didn't have to worry about that was Tyler Aldridge, who holed out for Eagle from the fairway on 15. And that is in for a hole out Eagle. But then Patrick Reed decided to embrace his fans by mingling with them in the players' rest area. All right, that will do it for me and for round three from Pebble Beach. Amanda Balionis will be back in studio on Monday for a brand new trending on tour. And I'm going to play you off with the musical stylings of Mr. Clay Walker. If I can make a living out of loving you, I'd be a millionaire in a week or two. Be doing what I love and love and what I do. I can make a living out of loving you.